Believe it or not, Adobe is holding your RAW files hostage. That's right, they're killing your RAW files even before you edit them. But I'm gonna show you today the best kept secret in photography, linear profiles, and how using these linear profiles are going to regain dynamic range within your photos even before you edit them. So what do I mean by all this? Essentially, when you import any RAW photo into Lightroom, and you should be shooting RAW photo guys because you're gonna have the most editing capabilities with your photos. But when you import these RAW photos into Lightroom or Lightroom Classic, Adobe is applying these uh, camera profiles. We're we're gonna, we're gonna erase all that today. We're gonna search for Adobe DNG Profile Editor, and you're gonna go to the page that Adobe has. Download this thing, where's it at here? It's the DNG Profile Editor. You need to scroll down on the page a little bit to get there, but it's a DNG Profile Editor. They have it for Mac and Windows. You're gonna download this, open it up, get it going on your Mac or Windows. We're going to create a profile for our specific camera. So if you have three, four cameras, you're gonna have to do this for each RAW file, just one RAW file from each camera. We're gonna open Lightroom Classic, and I'm gonna just take any one of these uh, recent photos that I've taken. Uh, you can see they're a Sony ARW file. We're gonna open or right click, and we're gonna export. And what we want to do down here in image format, just go to DNG, and we're gonna export it. From here, you can see it's saved to my desktop. We're gonna open that DNG profile editor. What we want to do here is just go File, Open DNG Image. We're gonna drill down to that photo that we just opened. So this is gonna be kinda of hard to see. Uh, I'm gonna try to enhance this for you. You can see this is what it currently is with the current profile applied. If we go into Tone Curve here, this is the base profile. This is what Adobe is doing to your photos uh, when you import them into Lightroom. What we want to do is go to the drop down and do linear. And you'll see it on screen, it's going to look like it got darker, but essentially what it's doing is it's kind of stretching out that dynamic range. It's flattening the blacks, it's flattening the whites. So it's going to give you more latitude when you go into edit. And it's going to give you the control back to edit the contrast and the curves in your photo as you see fit. So once that's done, all we have to do is go file, export, the profile and it's gonna automatically it should automatically drill down to where your profiles are stored on your computer if it doesn't I got you I'll put the uh, path at least for Mac down below but Windows should be similar it's gonna be like an application support Adobe uh, camera raw camera profiles and then what you want to do here is name this name this whatever you want uh, for the sake of this video I'm gonna just call this tutorial because I'll delete it after I'm done and then go ahead and save it. It's going to say it exported successfully. The other cool thing here, while we're here, this profile editor is actually really cool. And I think when people are talking about like the Fujifilm, uh, f like film, ne uh, film uh, profiles or like different color profiles, if you will, you can do that in here. You can basically go into the color matrices. You can edit colors within here. So this is a great way to start if you want to create your own presets. There's a lot of things that this thing can do, but we're just going over the linear profile today. Once that's done, you can close this down. Quit this. Uh, we don't have to save anything and get rid of this. Now it's important because we had Lightroom open, we're gonna have to close this down and reopen it. We can see I've already drilled down in my finder here and I can see that that profile is in the correct location. Make sure it did save there. Sometimes it will, even though you have the path there, if it opened and it thinks it's in the right path, it might save it to your desktop. Just drill back down, make sure it's in here. And then when you open Lightroom the next time, it should automatically be in the profiles. If it's not, I'm gonna show you how you can import them. If you go over here in the develop tab, you can see the profile that's automatically applied to these, these raw images as they come into Lightroom is this Adobe Color. It'll be one of these Adobe profiles. What you wanna do is click on the boxes over here. And as you can see, I have a few different profiles created. This is the one that we just created today, YouTube tutorial. Now, let's say it didn't save it to the correct location uh, to automatically import. It's okay because what we can do is you can go to file, Import, develop profiles and presets. So it's currently at that location, but let's say I save it to my desktop. What you can do is you can go to desktop and you can see I accidentally, before the magic of editing, I saved it to my desktop twice on accident. So you could just grab these and import them. What that's gonna do is when you get back to camera profiles, you'll see that there's a folder here called imported. That's just where they've been imported to. If they don't automatically come in, if you save them to your desktop, don't worry. You can go to file, import, import them, and you'll be set to go. But I'm gonna show you the difference here. I'm going to, actually get out of this for a second and I'm just going to reset all edits. So this is the base Adobe profile as you see it here. I'm gonna grab, if it just hover, hopefully you can see that difference. All this is is a linear profile. And you can see it may look darker, it may look less saturated, but if you look at the highlights in particular, look at what it's doing to those highlights over there in the window. Kind of blown out. I mean, I know there's detail there that I would be able to recover, but when we apply the base profile and even it lifts the shadows, you can see what's going on here. It's just knocking it out, giving you a flat profile, 
and that's what we want. We want to take control from Adobe and put it in our own hands because if you're like me and you're taking photos, you want to be able to edit them with the most latitude as you see fit. Now there is one kind of bug that with this. Uh, if you've watched my video on how I edit things on the iPad, there is a limitation for whatever reason in Adobe, if you're watching this, please fix this. If you create a custom profile, it doesn't play nicely with the cloud application. Uh, what I've noticed is if I try to, you can still import it into the Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile, it'll be there. But if you try to share those photos, how I've shared them with clients in the past, the profile does not get applied. It shows them a weird version because those profiles, for, for whatever reason, are not carrying over to the cloud. So Adobe, if you're watching, please fix that. That is the only limitation that I see with this. If you're going to edit in Lightroom uh, Classic and export them that way, you're good to go. With photography, you have to enjoy the whole process from the shoot to organization and editing, to the workflows that you develop, to giving the end result to the client and everything in between. The problem with most beginners in photography is they don't understand or even know where to begin with that process. But it's okay because you're in the right location and I'm here to help guide you with my 15 plus years of experience and over 100,000 photos within my catalog. So if that's something that interests you, subscribe so you can follow along and join in this community that we're building here. And as always, if you have any questions or you wanna see something or you wanna pick my brain, leave it in the comments below. I read them all, I promise you, and I try to help you out if I can point you in the right direction. And if not, I let you know. Hey. I don't have the answer. I don't know what's going on here, but I hope you learned something. Profiles, linear profiles. You're going to gain control, regain control of Adobe because they're holding your raw files hostages. Peace out, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.